What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and we have another Pokemon opening. Yesterday we did another one of the mini tins and I'm not a big fan of that product but I did say I was going to open up all five so <laughs> we're going to open the other three all in this video and don't worry we do have Hidden Fates. We got another Charizard tin we're going to crack into as well and let's start by powering through these mini tins. You know, just Ancient Origins and Crimson Invasion just does not do it. So, however, I do like these artworks. I will say that the background feels really lackluster in the first one, the Kanto Friends ones. You know, it looked like all the Pokemon are hanging out. These ones, they're all just chilling around some purple, like, sunset kind of background, which with almost, like, no detail whatsoever. So... I feel like on all fronts, just a not as good of a product. So very, I'm not, yeah, very disappointed in that. I really like the original ones, but we got some cool Pokemon in there. Pikachu, I like this one the best. I think Pikachu looks kind of weird, but Vulpix Pikachu is pretty cute compared to all these like super powerful Pokemon. You got Charizard, Dragonite, Mewtwo, Mew. And there it is, our Crimson Invasion pack. All right, Let's see how this guy looks. Ooh, this is not bad. So be sure to put this guy in a card saver. And then we have Mewtwo. I like the ordering is kind of random. This one, no, that one has a significant nick. Get all these silly nine tail coins over here. And our last one, Mew with the random Psyduck. <laughs> the Psyduck I do think is funny. That might be the uh, biggest positive thing I have to say about this product. Alright. All the mini tins opened. Sorry for all the noise. Got all of our packs. Let's see what this artwork looks like. So these guys go together. Charizard. It's over there. And then, all right, so, Mewtwo over on the right, then Pikachu, Vulpix, Charizard, um, oh wait, these are over here, Door, we'll get it. All right, yeah, so I think the Candle Friends one is significantly better, but let's get into these packs. Three Ancient Origins, three Crimson Invasion. What if they did it so it was like not always the same packs? If they did it, you had some variants. Um, eh, maybe it would feel almost like a one of those mystery cube things, which I feel like there's a lot of negativity associated with those. So maybe it's not the best idea. But all right, let's see what we can get for a Ancient Origins. Level Ball, Sableye, Lysander, Golurk, Larvesta, Rolts, a Baltoy, Ancient Trait, Relicon, Vaporeon. Oh, this is like the um the tins. I think this had this very similar looking vapor. Ooh, Entei. That actually looks really cool. You know, I keep so keep uh comparing these Ancient Trait ones with the character rares that are coming and like this one does I, I I'm happy with this pull there we go Entei from Ancient Origins it's gonna power through these alright we got a Porygon another Vaporeon Lysander Oddish Inke a Combi Relicanth again Meowth at the beach Ooh, Metagross, we're getting some good ones. And then a Mega Ampharos EX? Huh. I feel like these are both sleeve worthy. That, that Metagross looks cool too. Yeah, I never gave Ancient Origins much time of the day, but some of these cards are really nice. And ooh, Mega Rayquaza, that'd be sick. But, <clears throat> let's see. So this Friday is the big day when Hidden Fates comes out with its ETBs and what's going on with these? 
feel like they weren't even cut correctly. If you take a look at that, it's like not even fully cut. But that will be awesome. I will be away again for the weekend. But hopefully I can sneak out and pick up a ETB to open for you guys. I'll try to bring some actual proper equipment to record in Volcarona foil. Not bad. So we don't have that very awkward opening like we did last time with the when the tins released. And alright, on to Crib's Invasion. We'll make this quick so we can get to that Hidden Fates Charizard tin. Crimson Invasion. What do we want from Crimson Invasion? I have no idea. We got a Grass Energy. Mawile. Organize my piles. Graveler. Starvia. Chimecho. Spoink. Swablu. Swinub. Nummel. A Oranguru is a reverse. And then a Scavalier. Wouldn't mind a Guzzlord. Not a very good Pokemon. But not a very good card. But I do like it. Peking Red Card, Miltank, Kakamo'o, Mistrevious, Stuffle, Phoebus, Jangmo'o, a Staryu, Type Null, and then a Octillery. Alright, last pack for these mini tins. <laughs> we could be done with them. Uh, maybe I'm being too tough on it, but. No, nah, I don't think I'm being too tough. Okay, Psychic Energy, Emolga. Lairon, Cinchino, Shellos, Sweetle, Execute, Punkaboo, Swablu, a Staryu is the reverse, and then a Beedrill. So, basically nothing for those Crimson Invasion packs, but eh, that's okay. We'll save the heat for this tin. So, let's get cracking into this Charizard tin. Loving this product. Um, if I had to be critical, I would just say that I don't like these tin, the actual tin part. I'm really excited for the ETB. They're really good for storage. Comes with the sleeves, comes with the best promo, and the same price point per pack. So, what more can you ask for? It's like a win on every front. But yeah, I don't like these tins for story. The, the, the tag team tins, though, much better. All right, this, this is a very solid code card, by the way. Very good with those Mewtwo decks. Put him right here, and we have our four packs. All right, now the opening can really begin. Here we go. Let's start with Mew. It's our typical order. But yeah, let me know what you're excited for on Friday and what your plans are. Um, <laughs> are you going to skip work to get your stuff, skip school? Um, how many do you plan on getting? Did you do pre-orders or are you just going to go to the store and check it out? Jolteon plus a Pinsir GX. One thing to definitely check is, you know, Wal I feel like Walmart is notorious for putting those out early. Um, so. You know, take a peek at your local Walmart. I've never had any luck with Target on finding like anything until even actually even sometimes after release day. But like Wednesday, Thursday, check out your local Walmart. There's a nick on that card. I don't think it's the the one we're really looking for. Alright, so our shiny GX count is at a glorious three. <laughs> but uh I think we're free of the curse. We just gotta improve our pull rates from zero to boom! <laughs> One tin. That's all it takes. Lucario GX Shiny. That one looks nice. I like how it's the yellow slash. Oh, I'm not sure yellow or gold, but that's really cool. Centering looks great. Is there a little, a little something on that corner? A little something on this one too. But my. That is a sweet pull. Oh, that was perfect timing for like, <laughs> talk about the curse too. So we are definitely curse free at this point, just in time for the ETBs. You know, we're gonna be probably opening so many packs. 
boom and wait once the ETBs drop if you want to do like a battle or something let me know we do have a couple queued up with a couple other channels but uh, yeah if you're interested hit me up on Instagram or Discord uh, it's kind of hard to keep track of YouTube comments and stuff like that and oh if you have you entered the giveaway yet check out the video from Sunday uh, make sure you do enter you do have to uh, there was an additional requirement to join the discord and as well as leave a comment with your discord name so we can confirm you and This pack is nothing too crazy, but oh man, this is a super strong tin I don't think it's as good as yesterday. Yesterday was even better, but we still got this last pack to See if we can't pull ahead Even if we don't this is an amazing opening. All right, here we go last pack for the video Sabrina Nurse Joy, Metapod, a Psyduck, Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing, a Cleave Fairy, and I just want to say to everyone, thanks again for all the support on the channel. Things have been going great, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and our last pack has a Erica's Hospitality. Yeah, actually, that's not bad. This card's pretty good, and to have the reverse one, we'll take it. It's not the nothing compared to the full art, but hey. It's all good, and so yeah, we got some pretty cool Agent Origins cards. Whatever. <laughs> um, that one I am being overcritical. We got Pinsir GX. The Pinsirs are starting to come out the woodwork. It took forever to get one. Now they're just a bunch of them. But my, look at that! Biggest pull of the video, Lucario GX. I actually like this card. The Aura Strike's not bad. So there you have it, and um. Yeah, uh, giveaway ends Thursday, ETB's on Friday, lot to look forward to guys, I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.